came back. Good morning. <laughs> the girls are working on their a blanket, Emmy's blanket that she got for her birthday, Maddie's pillow that she got for Christmas. Nin's helping them. We came back to pick them up and they want to stay a little longer, so Nin's going to drop them back off at the house. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I really oh, like my blanket though. In oh fact, gosh, I haven't played my electronic oh. at all. Wait, Earlier I just played it for five minutes. So they asked me if I could take a break oh, and she said yes, yeah, five minutes. minutes. And How then now I'm continuing to work. We are home. Just got done feeding Everly. She's so precious. Oh my goodness. Is this a fuzz in your hair? Sure is. <laughs> Her hair is like so thick and dark still. I'm just waiting. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm just waiting for poor thing for it to start falling out. Like I feel like all the girls from them like rubbing their head back and forth got like a bald circle. Like not even just a bald patch, like a bald circle. They all had hair on top of their head and like this piece back here. So I'm trying really hard to like keep up with tummy time and try and prevent that but it's bound to happen because they're laying on harder surfaces and then they go like this and it it takes out all that little bit of baby hair oh mama she's wearing oh she's wearing a onesie that my grandma got her for christmas super cute it's a fleece one which today is probably a little too warm outside for her to have this on she's trying to escape where are you trying to go trying to escape <laughs> Um, it's probably a little too warm for outside, but mama, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. But it's so cute. I love these with Maddie and Autumn. And I actually even love them now. All the big girls have onesies that are like fleece like this, like feety onesies. Although as you get older, they don't have the little feet on them anymore. Like Emmy's, even Maddie's. No, yeah, Emmys and Maddies there um, don't have the feet. They have like an open, an opening at the bottom. But Autumns are 5T and they have the feet. And they're just so cute and cozy for them. I would suffocate in these things, but for them they're nice and cozy. And this is a zero to three months. So she's, her zero to three month, she's pretty much outgrown newborn. I think she has one newborn uh, sleeper that still fits her some of the other sleep newborn sleepers like they're just a little too short for her So her neck hangs out a little bit and I'm not about that life. We have tons of zero to three and three month clothes, so She um, I've retired some of them already, which is so sad. I'm starting her like save me um, keepsake box and I already have her Christmas outfits her Christmas PJs her hospital outfit that we brought her home in and I have one more thing that she hasn't outgrown yet that I'm gonna put in there from like her newborn stage and then I love little like onesies like this I have one for each of the girls I even have one for Emmy even though we don't have baby clothes specifically for her because she was a toddler already when um, she came to us so I don't have baby baby clothes but I have some of her my favorite outfits from her when she was a toddler to save in her keepsake box and stuff for when they're older. My mom did it for me and although my clothes were like super 80s, like you could tell they were super 80s, I appreciated having them and putting them on the girls and getting to see them. I actually have pictures, I think it was Maddie in all of them and I have one outfit, a picture with Autumn in one outfit. I don't know if I have anything left to put Everly in. Never in a million years did I think I would have so many girls <laughs> to have options to put outfits in. I honestly thought it would end with Maddie and I would just put all, her in all the outfits, take pictures and move on and I just ended up having one after the other after the other. So um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to put Everly in. I'll have to check. But um, it's just like little memories to have just, you know, so yeah I'm starting that for her and I have some of their like greatest achievements in school report cards some pretty drawings or pictures that they've had um, you know stuff from like fairies and um, just different things school pictures and various things in their boxes that make me 
feel happy whenever I think about being able to hand that stuff down to them. So Andres is getting ready for work, sadly. The big girls are with Nin. She's going to drop them off later. She wanted to finish their, their activities with them. So I had no clue what time they're dropping. She's dropping them off probably by three. And then I need to go pick up Autumn from school. And I think somewhere before I get Autumn, I may try and go to Bath and Body Works. Andres told me to wait until tomorrow so that he could go with me, but we'll see. I'm actually fine going out and about with the big girls and Everly. Autumn is the one that's a little, with Everly, is a little harder to wrangle. She's a little bit more spunky when we're out in public and it's too hard, especially in a place like Bath and Body Works that does not have a cart. It's too hard to keep her wrangled in a place like that. She wants to touch everything. And the big girls love Bath and Body Works, so it's probably gonna be hard enough to like tell them not to touch anything. And then I'll be pushing Everly in a stroller. So we'll see. I don't, it's not dire, but they have a 10 off of 40 coupon right now. It's a semi-annual sale. The soaps are $3, the wallflowers are $3. I need body wash, wallflowers, and soaps. So I need to go now that it's the semi-annual sale before it ends. I feel like it ends in like less than a week. So we'll see. Um, so I wanna do that and then pick up Autumn and I have to figure out what we are doing for dinner. For breakfast, I was bad. All I had was a banana and a coffee and I learned my lesson on the coffee because at our appointment this morning, they had like coffee in a to-go cup, which I have some, Andres brought his home, so I put it in the fridge so I can have it over ice tomorrow morning with a Premier Protein. I'm gonna get back into that, which I'm super excited about, but that my coffee i drank i wanted it for today i needed a little bit of a pick-me-up again last night i didn't go to bed until like 1 30 maybe and was up at six she actually slept she took her lap she had her last feeding around 10 30 um 11 it was closer to 11 and she's she her next feeding was at 6 15 so i'm like win but unfortunately i didn't go to bed until after that because I don't know why I'm crazy. And then we were up early, early this morning. So I needed some caffeine in my life. So I had one cup of coffee and all I used was two equals cause I am like a sugar person. I need sweetener in my coffee. So I either use sweet and low or I don't like Splenda or like Swerve or Stevia or I don't usually use equal, but I use that's all they had. So I used two packets of equal and one little, one of those little individual carafes of um, creamer. And I was like, oh, this is not going to be enough. I normally like my coffee with creamer type of thing, or my creamer with coffee. <laughs> like I like it creamy uh, and sweet. And I was like, this is not going to work. But it actually was good. It was like a tall, I would say it was probably like tw a 12 ounce cup and I did one creamer and two packets of equal and it was good I was able to drink the whole thing it was definitely not as creamy as I like it but it was tolerable so I had that which was one point for the creamer because two things two little individual things was three points and I was like oh no I'm not wasting three points on two little things of creamer so I had one for one point coffee was free and the banana was free so then I came home and had lunch and I had the leftover meal from last night. So I need to figure out what to do for dinner tonight and I need to eat something in between there so that I'm not stuck with all these leftover points. So today was just not, not a great morning for me. I should have gotten up, made myself some eggs or turkey bacon or hash browns, like something substantial for breakfast that um, I'm not left over with all these points. It's just gonna take a little bit of time getting in, in into a routine. We're all doing Weight Watchers, my mom, Nen, Andres, and myself. And so we're all just kind of helping each other and talking about different things. Nen is a great resource because she does a lot of research. She watches YouTube. She looks up stuff online all the time. And so her and I are going to try and collab back and forth. And that sounded funny. <laughs> collab back and forth. We're gonna collab back and forth. So anyway, She's going to bring over the girls. I may try and go to Bath and Body Works before I get Autumn and then come home and figure out dinner. We'll see. But for right now, I'm going to cuddle this little sweetheart and which Good Girls season two is now on Netflix. I'm like, oh yes, these people knew I was on maternity leave and needed shows to watch. We're still trying to finish Walking Dead. 
I probably would have had it done by now, but Andres went back to work and we haven't finished it and we only get to watch like one show a day. So it's gonna take us a little while to finish that show. I finished you in like a day, a day and a half. The second season, so good, I can't wait till the third. And so now I'm going to binge watch Good Girls. I also found a movie that I've been trying to watch. I think it's called Marriage Story or The Marriage Story. It's a little weird because the one of the main characters is Kylo Ren from Star Wars. So that's a little strange seeing him in that role, but it's a good movie. So I've been watching that. And I had like three seasons of the Kardashians recorded on my DVR that I've been trying to get through as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing <laughs> for today. Yesterday I spent it cleaning, straightening up. I'm on my very last load of laundry. When the big girls get home, they're going to start folding theirs. I had, um, we made our bed last night and I only have one load of laundry of ours to fold and it's in the dryer right now. So I feel pretty good to have a lazy day. I also would like to continue doing my painting with diamond. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Hi, Lotita. Be nice. Just smell. She's been so good with her. The only thing that I have to watch is like if she's, if Everly's on me covered in a blanket, Lola doesn't know not to step on her. And she's, Lola's big. Like I feel like she looks like a boy cat now. She's so big. Um, so I have to make sure she doesn't step on her when she's getting on me. But other than that, she does so good. Not once has she tried to lick her. Um, she only ever sniffs her. She doesn't do anything else to her. So I'm I'm pretty proud of her. Bella, Bella could care less. Bella could legitimately care less that Everly's here. I guess she had her fill with the other babies. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna watch TV. Long rant here and chat. Sorry about that. You guys know I like to talk. I'll catch up with you later. The big girls are back. Emmy went straight to her room to finish her blanket. And Maddie worked on her pillow. Turn it around. I stuffed it a lot. Mm -hmm. She put extra stuffing in it and then helped her with that. Mm -hmm. She picked the patches that she wanted on it. Mm -hmm. Turn it around. Let me see. And then made her an M. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cute. Mm -hmm. So now we'll probably have stuffing falling out of it for a little while but she's gonna go put it in her room <laughs> Everly's still just here chilling no cares in the world huh mama <laughs> well you know I care about you oh of course no I'm saying she doesn't have any cares in the world she's so light complected I'm going to have to really watch her skin in the sun she's very very light <laughs> Dredge. Dredge. Okay, I just got done feeding Everly. She's in her swing right now. I am putting on dinner. It's about 4.45. My mom is actually picking up Autumn from school. She picked her up already, um, and she's going to come over and have dinner with us. So I had chicken in the fridge. So I put four large breasts in there. One, I'm doing my chicken salsa salsa chicken sorry one block of cream cheese bless you mama and then I have this salsa left over from New Year's the cocina fresa fresca salsa this is the mild sweet onion it's super good I don't even know how many points this stuff is um, but I'm just going to make it I know the chicken is zero points I need to check this and I need to check the um, cream cheese but yes all you do you could use any kind of salsa with this I've used picante sauce before I've used um, like on the border chip salsa this kind of salsa which is great for um, also like chips and stuff like that literally just dump it all in there normally I would do this in a crock pot but I only have about 45 minutes until I want to eat dinner so dump the chicken in there no I didn't put anything in there because the chicken will release fluids the salsa will break down into fluid so I put a whole well that one had like three-fourths of the salsa in it normally I would put a whole thing of salsa one whole thing of cream cheese in the chicken and I'm not that familiar with the instant pots so like there we go close you want to make sure you are 
pressure, not venting. And then the last time we did this, I just did chicken meat. Yeah, pressure. And then I think it just starts on its own. <laughs> I'm not that great at this thing yet, yeah. It'll, pre it'll get to pressure, it'll cook for 35 minutes, and I'll show you guys when it's done. The big girls are upstairs. Um, Maddie is putting away her, the rest of her clothes. Emmy finished her puzzle, which I'm not sure why she dumped it over. This is the 500 piece puzzle that she got for Christmas from my brother, Melissa. Um, I'm not sure why she dumped it over on the table. I told her to leave it on the mat because I wanted to go to Michael's. We'll probably go tomorrow. I didn't end up going to Bath and Body Works because I didn't leave the house. Um, so we'll probably swing by tomorrow to Michael's to get a poster frame, a poster board frame. I think that'll be the cheapest place to get it. Maybe Walmart has it. I don't know. I need to look. And I've seen various things online that you can put puzzles like you can use contact paper. Um, I've actually seen packing tape is probably the easiest thing. So we will, if I have some packing tape, I'll pack tape it closed and then we'll frame it because it's a super cute picture. I just need to get a frame to hang it in her room and then I want to go to Bath and Body Works. We also need to go to Target tomorrow. So I guess tomorrow is just going to be errand running day. I originally wanted to go to Costco, but to be honest, I don't want to take, even with Andres, I don't really want to take all four girls to Costco if I can help it. So I'll just wait for the big girls to be back in school next week and him and I can go during the week sometime. I think that'll just be way easier for us. And besides, we really don't need a whole bunch anyway. I do find that eating healthier, we tend to go through food a lot quicker and our grocery bills tend to be a little bit more expensive. So it is what it is though, it's worth it. Um, yeah, so that's what we've done so far. <laughs> Everly and I sat and watched, finished up that movie, Marriage Story. I am almost through the first episode of Good Girls, and that's what we've been doing all day. Did I say what Emmy did? She was um, went up to her room to finish her blanket. She had a few, well, she Maddie gave her a quilted E from her pillow for her to sew on her quilt, and Emmy knows how to sew now, so she went up to her room to do that. We're just waiting here. I'm trying to figure out what else we are going to have for dinner. The salsa chicken, I'm going to have the girls, and yeah, probably just the girls have it with chips. They like it like that, and mom and I will probably have it with, she has more points than I do, so she may have it with chips, and I may just have it on top of a salad. Um, you know what, maybe I'll make some riced cauliflower. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. I have all these bags of cauliflower. I think I'm gonna do that. So with this, um, it's already washed, ready to use. I got it 50% off, but it's still good until the 11th, which is awesome. So I'm gonna saute this up and I'm gonna put some Mexican rice seasoning and have it, I think, as a salad, like kind of like a bowl. I can even make some black beans. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Some black beans and make like a salad. Also, I have one chicken breast in here that was left over in the pack because it was a family pack of chicken. I'm going to cook that up and just use it, put it in the fridge and use it for recipes throughout the week. So I'm gonna get that done and wait for my mom. And see, just I guess hang out with her and chit chat and what are you doing, Lola? <laughs> she loves her cat tree there. She likes to look out the window. Huh. Yeah. So we'll see how much I can get done before any kiddos start screaming at me. Okay. Got a couple more meals for dinner tonight. My fridge is like this area is a ginormous mess but I have the cauliflower and beans and the salsa chicken the salsa chicken I counted it as nine points for the cream cheese because I didn't use lower fat cream cheese that's all I had I counted it as nine points but honestly it probably was like six maybe seven just because I counted it as like I had a quarter and 
I got two meals out of it. Mom had a plate, Emmy had a plate, and I had a plate all about the same size. And then I gave some to Maddie and Autumn. So it probably was more like I had like a fifth or a sixth, not a quarter, but that's okay. And then I had one chicken breast left over, so I went ahead and cooked it up with some lemon pepper seasoning, and I'll have it on a salad or something later on in the week. So I've been trying really hard to cook and have multiple meals. We'll see how it keeps going. My left eye is bothering me again, and actually the vlog that I just edited, I've been lumping multiple days together because really the last part since I've had Everly, oh my gosh, my eyeball, I have not, most days I haven't been filming like enough to have a whole vlog, so I've just been lumping days together, plus I was so behind from taking two and a half weeks off from Everly that I really needed to catch up, so I've been making the last few vlogs actually like, uh, half of the vlogs that I've uploaded have been 30 minutes plus since I've had Everly, maybe even more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, <laughs> more than half have been 30 minutes plus. Like the last one was 35, 36, 30, 32, and 34. And I think this one is like 32. And you guys seem to like that, so I'm just going to keep it consistent until I get back into regular daily vlogging where I'm caught up and uploading the next day after vlogging the day before and all that good stuff. So it is midnight and the rest I can hear him snoring with Everly in the room. Um, I fed her and then came up. He took her in the room and she actually went. I haven't heard her cry so she must have gone to sleep. Oh excuse me right away and which is good but that means I need to go to sleep. Um, I'm just waiting for the vlog to export so I can upload it and then I am going to go lay down. I don't know really what we have planned tomorrow. It's supposed to be a beautiful day outside though, so I'm hoping we can go do something as a family. Like I know we have a few errands to run, but also like go ride bikes or go have the girls like ride their scooters or something. I hope we can go do something as a family, especially since it's nice enough for Everly to be outside. So I'm just waiting tapping the desk waiting and like I said my eye is really bothering me again I feel like I'm missing some eyelashes or something right there there's like a red spot I don't know what is going on my face is looking oh, lord I need to do something with myself anyway today my mom was here for no joke like five hours i don't think she left until pretty much 10 p.m and so the girls had a really late bedtime today but that's okay is they're like we only have one more night and then they go back to school on monday so it was they enjoyed being able to stay up and play they were watching detective pikachu emmy was in her room working she finished her blanket which i'm surprised surprised she didn't i wasn't even vlogging i'm surprised she didn't grab the camera and vlog it she was really excited she stitched and sewed her own letter E into her blanket, so she was really proud of herself. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow. She's doing super good with this crafty thing. Um, she came up to her room, I'm guessing to play with her Minecraft Legos, because she had asked me if she could open that. So I'm guessing that's what she came up here to do, and Autumn and Maddie stayed downstairs and played with, I don't even know what. I think the playroom is a disaster, but I'm not too too worried about it because we will have Sunday reset like we do every Sunday before they go back to school we'll make sure all their laundry is folded put away all that good stuff rooms are straightened up and clean backpacks are put in order and um, they took baths and showers and stuff today but we'll do that again on Sunday and get everything just kind of all straightened up playroom cleaned up and all that good stuff so yeah I think I'm just rambling, trying to kill time, waiting for the vlog to export. Hopefully it comes soon, because I really want to go lay down. Just to relax, my back has been killing me today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was, like, the way I was laying on the chair, but I just had, like, super... I don't even know how to maintain my posture while I'm breastfeeding, because I, I find myself, like, I'm sitting up straight right here. I find myself super hunched over and, like, leaning to whatever side she's on. And I don't really know how to fix that. Like anytime I watch breastfeeding videos on YouTube to get like different tips or tricks because I mean honestly even though I have breastfed in the past I have not 
exclusively breastfed. I always pump and bottle feed breast milk. And so because of that, I'm like trying to learn things as I go essentially. And every time I watch a video, which they do have lots of breastfeeding videos on YouTube, which is crazy, a lot of it shows, like I could easily see how um, some people would take it inappropriately. But for me, it's learning. So I see them and they look like they're sitting up straight and I'm just like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know if I don't have enough pillows or I'm not sitting in the right position or what I feel like I'm constantly hunched over a bit. So I need to get a better technique. I even watch other moms like Instagram storying and vlogging while they're breastfeeding and they look so like just chill and relaxed and I feel like I'm holding everything and like trying to maneuver and I just don't feel like my body mechanics are that great but you know whatever <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting it done that's the biggest thing I just don't want to throw up in my back in the process so I'm going to bed because it's now been six minutes of just rambling I'm gonna wait for this to finish and then go to bed so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you for a, fa a fun family day tomorrow